Okay, hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and welcome to another Gamerscore Milestone video. I just hit 450,000 Gamerscore on Spyro, the uh, reimagined trilogy or whatever it is. But before we get to going over my gamer card, I want to do a very quick plug for my book series. If you guys don't know, I write books. I have a whole bunch of them. I'm, I'll make this quick. Go to uh, Vengeance Books. Whoopsies. Go to VengeanceBooks.com and check out uh, everything I got here. I got all the social medias. It's a, You have like a, an introduction right here so you know what you're getting into. You have the intended reading order. You have all the different books and everything. Here's like a timeline. And you have all the, every single page you go to has all the links and everything you need to know about this specific book. You have extra content, art, Etsy shop, and updates, whatever have you. Just please go check that out. I'd very much appreciate it. I've been writing for like 10 years and I would love to get you know more traction on something that I'm actually very passionate about. Anyway, let's go move on to the uh, gamer score video again like i just said we were playing spyro i hit 450,020 unfortunately i am you know, not it's not a, it's not the um next 100,000 milestone so i wasn't exactly planning on landing exactly on the dot but i got my last achievement right here i believe it's time for me to fly uh, without touching the ground yeah whatever have you I just got that casually so let's go ahead and check out all my gamer score i only have 3230 this month which is more than i've been getting because honestly gamer score has uh, fallen off for me extremely because it's just basically it's quote unquote pay to win for gamer score and it's disgusting and i try not to participate in spending five ten dollars for an indie game that takes two minutes to complete Unless I'm about to reach a goal and then I'll give myself a boost or whatever, which is something that I just did. So I got my 400,000 gamer score on about December 7th, uh, 2020, and it's currently um, June 2022. Wow, did I really not get 50,000 gamer score in a year? Yeah, man, I really have not been playing. Um, and then I did the gamer score video December 18th. Um, and the last game I played for that was like Master Chief Collection, but uh, so uh, you'll see that I really haven't been playing much when it comes to gamer score. Obviously, we have the Spyro Reignited trilogy. I got 400 gamer score out of that. I went back and was cleaning up Borderlands 2 achievements, 623. Yeah, so starting here, three or bust, I got a handful of achievements in Borderlands 2 from like the DLC stuff. Um, for like 12 hours into that. Uh, I did get some achievements in Minecraft Windows. I got most of them until they added, they just added some more. I've been playing Ben 10 uh, Power Trip. I almost said Pyro Trip. I started a little bit of the, the pre sequel, trying to get to like level 50 and stuff, but I effing hate this effing game. So I don't want to play it. Uh, this is a game that I just bought for five bucks, Gav Gav Odyssey. I did that last night because I was 1,100 gamer score away last night, and I didn't have anything that I could get like a thousand in real fast. And I just thought, you know, what? I'm gonna give myself that boost. I want to get it out of the way so I can stop focusing on it and just kind of, you know, move on to the next goal. So I bought this, completed it in two minutes, and again, that's a practice that I I don't like to do that, and that's what I hate about gamer score right now, because at this point. The gamer score doesn't matter. The completions don't matter. It just matters what gamer score, what completion you got in what game. If I see like 900,000 gamer score, I'm not impressed anymore. I'm barely impressed by gamer score at all because I know it's all just pay to win gamer score and it's disgusting and I hate it. I started some Fall Guys, got 130 in that. I've obviously, I don't know where I was last in Gems of War, but I'm at 2200 right now. I log into that almost every day just to collect stuff and do random things. All I really play is Apex Legends. I picked up Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragons Keep, a Wonderlands one-shot adventure, which is, I think, the longest title on Xbox. And I got 820. I have 1,000 right now. All I have left to do with that is, like, Zero's Deception, Gunzerker, complete all level 1 non-specific challenges, and then kill a chubby, I think. I got one achievement in Spartan Assault, which was complete Operation F, I think. Uh, that's nothing. I started, I loaded that up, loaded this up, and I didn't get any achievements in those. I was trying to, but I didn't. I played some more World Tour. I beat the career mode on Expert, which cascaded down for hard, medium, and easy difficulty, and I got a couple, I got like 200 or something in that. Got some more achievements in Second Extinction. I started playing Master Duel, and all I have left to get that is uh, Diamond and Ranked, but I try not to play the meta decks. I try to just play the decks I like to use, which is why I can't get the Diamond, because I'm playing King of the Skull Servants and Dark Magician. So those aren't Diamond decks. I did get all the way up to Gold 1, though, with uh, King of the Skull Servants. I, again, I played some more Minecraft for achievements, just loading up achievement worlds or whatever have you. I actually went back and got a whole bunch of achievements in Seven Days to Die. Uh, by a whole bunch, I mean just a handful. But, uh, was it 9 to, yeah, so from 2018 to 2022, I got these few achievements right here. I'm just using my old stream world to, uh, already have, like, resources and stuff like that. 
I should try not to load into games. I uh, loaded up Guitar Hero 3, and I didn't get any achievements in that. I think I picked up a few more in... Well, I played Carnivorous Dinosaur Hunt, because um, that wasn't in the last the last goal. Nexomon, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't like Kingdom Hearts. I tried. I gave Kingdom Hearts 3 a, a fair few amount of hours. I'm eight and, and, and nine hours into Kingdom Hearts 3, and I don't like it. So I think I have a right to not like it. I think it's cool. I think the music's great. I think the concept is interesting, but... I just I don't have fun in the games at all. I don't know what I was at last time in the Master Chief Collection, but I'm at 42.75. I barely play it. I, it's basically just career or campaign stuff. Uh, Rivato Original Complex, Death Smiles, one and two, Crossfire X, fucking game of the year right there. Bullet Beats now at 5,000 gamer score. I think that's as much as it's getting. I don't think games go above 5K, but if they do, I'll be ready to complete it in a minute. Um, Splitgate 750. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy 105. I'm actually stuck at some part in the mission. I have no idea where to go, so I'm just like haven't loaded it in a while. Uh, Warface 280 of a thousand. I started Little Nightmares 2. I did one stream for like an hour and a half, and I haven't gone back to play. Not because I didn't like it. I just have not set aside time because I've been too busy focusing on writing because I'm trying to get another book out. I played some more PUBG for a little bit. I think I put like another 25 hours in after completing the game already, just for fun and on stream. I have twelve ninety five in Halo Infinite. I ba I basically need to go and collect all the uh, all the collectibles in the campaign, the skulls, whatever have you, and do some a few multiplayer achievements. But I really don't have any interest in the game itself. I don't like it really um, that much. I put uh, how many hours in? Uh, four days and six hours, and I really just generally don't like the game. Not that much. Uh, Alan Wake Remastered. I have to go through the DLC and then complete the game on Nightmare and do the Nightmare collectibles, which I'm just kind of doing casually. I fucking love Alan Wake, but uh, I've played it like nine times, <laughs> so I'm just kind of pacing myself. I loaded up Destiny to look at my vault. Nothing to see there. Played Dragon's Dogma a little bit more. Uh, actually, a bunch more, but the game, the uh, achievements in this game are very scarce and you know few and far between. Just, uh, I already had this complete, but we are playing it um, with friends. I don't know when did I complete this. Uh, I think I yeah went back to complete it. No, this is 2018. Oh, that's right. I loaded this up to play with uh, out in the living room. Yeah, I so I have a few games in the living room downloaded for like when company is over and stuff. And these are a few games that I played. I played some more DMC4. Didn't do much. I've been slowly chipping away. Black Mirror. The game is absolute dog shit. And I have to use a text guide walking through. So I will finish that up soon. It's very. It'll only take me like another hour and a half. But the game is so bad. I don't want to play it. Played some more Dead Space 2 on stream. Finished up Island Saver. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Collection. I skipped Mass Effect One after playing that for like four hours because I hate. Ma I can't. I cannot do Mass Effect One. I've tried it so many times. I just can't do it. And I've been slowly playing through Mass Effect Two, but it hasn't really pulled me back in. I finished up Space Jam recently. Again, I already had this complete, but we played that once out in the living room. Um, Final Fantasy X, Ten Ten Two Remaster. I got three fifty out of a thousand. Um, again, reloaded Fibbage for, with friends. Been chipping away at Scarlet Nexus a little bit. Uh, didn't get any achievements in that. I loaded it up, seeing if I could get any, and I couldn't. Race with Ryan. Oh boy, that game is a, a, a game. Uh, very bad. Cheap. Pretty easy, like six hour completion, but it's just a fucking really shitty kart racer. Started Valley. Haven't. I don't think I've gotten more. Uh, I've probably got more achievements since I did the four hundred thousand. Maybe all of last year. I don't even know if I played this all last year. Let me see. Did I get an achievement in 2022? Nope, I haven't gotten an achievement in... Oh my god, it's been two years. Almost, kind of. Dude, I, that's... I feel like I played Stardew Valley yesterday on stream for 100 hours. Uh, Rogue Company, Rec Room. Chipping away at smart moves, but there's no video... Or there's no good text guide. It's all video guides that are kind of... Mis, not misguiding, but they're not perfect guides. So I'm waiting for a text guide to come out. Um, Townscaper... I played a little bit of Rare Replay, got a few achievements. We got Resident Evil Village, Spellbreak, Rocket Arena, <laughs> uh, Deer Simulator, your average everyday Deer game, quick and easy achievements. Uh, don't play Rocket Arena, very bad, very bad game. Death Park 2, very shitty game, very easy completion. Not that easy of a completion for Crazy Strike Bowling, but it's a it's an okay kind of game. It's not the best. Unpacking is a it's a little gem. It's an adorable game. I love it. Um, it's a great, great game. Easy thousand gamer score. Uh, Red Bow, easy hour and a half completion. Control, yeah, just didn't. It didn't hold me. I don't know. The guy just didn't like it. Um, Cold War, ew. 
Uh, Bright Memory, pretty actually a pretty cool game. Uh, easy thousand should only take you like two hours, maybe three. I went back and finished playing Dead Space, uh, Dojoran, Easy Thousand. Um, I loaded up a few games trying to get achievements in them. Paladins, I don't think I've gotten an achievement in that in a while. Either in that, I 1650, I have 2200 and Little Nightmares. I don't when I don't know when the last time I got an achievement in this was. Uh, oh boy, the more times I load in 2021, nine five 2021. Okay, that's when I beat it on stream. I haven't gotten an achievement since. I thought I went back and I got some, but I guess I didn't. Uh, Mountain Blade, Warband PC, I did that for a thousand boosts because I felt the itch to get gamer score, and it was free, and it was command con uh, console command unlocks. Medium, honestly, great game. It's underrated. I can understand why people didn't like it, because it was a lot of just, like, inner monologue and not a lot of action. It's mostly puzzles and exploring the atmosphere, and I, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I could go back and complete it. I just have to beat the game again, and I don't feel like putting another six and a half hours in. Um... Uh, let's see, when did I finish Storm 2? Because I know I went back and finished one. Yes, I went back and got all the titles in Storm 2, so I have every single Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm game complete on the 360 and on the Xbox One. So Storm 1, Storm 2, Storm 3, Storm 4, uh, the Storm 4 Boruto, um, I have, uh, Naruto Generations, and then the Tournament one or whatever, I have all those complete between both consoles. The only games I don't have complete are the Boruto Striker games, I didn't even bother playing that dog shit, and then the original Xbox 360 Naruto games that cannot be completed, the, uh, Broken whatever and Path of the Ninja, those two really can't be completed, so... Uh, I started Amnesia on stream. Wasn't for me. I'll go back and clean up achievements at some point with the guide. Uh, State of Decay 2 Juggernaut. Me and my brothers played that for a little bit on stream, and we played a little bit on the side. Never Out. It's just a puzzle game. Take you like three hours with a guide, if not a little bit less. Risk System is a bullet hell game that I really did not like, and I like bullet hells. Uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't know why I started playing that, man. I really don't. Uh, I got, like, one achievement in Battle Block Theater, I think. Uh, Language of Love, Fractured Minds. Um, I don't... Th uh, Outlast 2 I played. Evil Within. Um, obviously not completing any of these games. Basically just beat them through once. Did I really only get 335 in Outlast 2 for one playthrough? That's it? Damn. That's kind of sad. Um... Battlefield, <laughs> Battlefield Five, uh, Destroy All Humans, a uh, game from my childhood that again it's just I'm kind of past it. I can't really get back into it. Um, Donut Con Donut County, easy completion. I think it's on Game Pass. It'll take you like two hours with the guide. Borderlands Three, <laughs> um, One Night Stand, actually a pretty interesting and fun game. I do like the art style a lot. And I like all the different like endings you can get. Um, Checkho in the Castle Lucio, easy completion. Rogue Cube, a moderately, well, I'd say like a 3 out of 10 easy completion. It's not that hard, but it, if you don't like a twin stick shooter, then you might have some trouble with it. Um, Strike Force 2, I reloaded Slender the Arrival for uh, completing, for uh, helping a friend with some achievements. Rememory, I don't know when I played those. But I'm just going to scroll down for a minute. Uh, Near Automata, I played that last year. Outriders, wait, there's 45 more gamer score in Outriders. You can't be serious. There's another achievement. I'm going to be so mad. What is this? I hated this game. Oh, no. There's three achievements. Oh, no. I got to go talk to Dylan. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I had to go... Oh, man. Way to break my... Did they... And they had a 500 gamer score for Rain on Your Parade? What? Wait. You can't stop adding gamer score. I had these complete. What the F? Oh, there's DLC levels. No. No, man. All right. Well, I mean, that's more gamer score, but I mean, they, and they are the base game complete, but still. Emily wants to play to um, Warface Breakout. Colossus Down, I started playing because I completed the Agatha Knife and the uh, Mecha Nika games, um, which are really, really fun games. But uh, I, have, I, I don't know. I couldn't get into Colossus Down that much. I will play it more, though. I still have yet to go back and uh, finish playing Walking Dead Collection because my Xbox One Series, my Xbox Series S does not have a, a disc tray, so I have to play that out in the living room, and I just haven't been wanting to. So, um, Anthem, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, the Re Reckoning, couldn't really get back into fishing. It's my favorite RPG for a while, but I don't know. I just again can't get back into it. Hyperscape, Realm, Realm Royale, Graveyard Keeper, could not get into it. I don't know. I didn't like it. I tried like. 10 hours. How long did I play this game for? 
Uh, six and a half, seven hours. Seven hours, not enough. Don't like it. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater at 410. I basically just did the basic stuff. And, uh, yeah, One Punch... I right, so we're down to the bottom of the list because One Punch Man is one I did last year to get me close to the... F- 400,000 goals, so that's gonna be it. There's a lot of random gamer score. I went back to play games to complete some games I didn't finish. Um, let's go, actually, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and look at my true achievements profile. I just refreshed everything, so new milestones, 16,000 achievements, 1, 415, 220 completed games. What was that from? What did I, I didn't just complete a game. Well, either way, let's go ahead to stats real fast. So my completion percentage is a 56.03%, which is better than it used to be. It used to be like a 53. And I, again, always work on going back and uh, not even just completing old games, but just getting more average gamer score. So I have 16,754 achievements won, and then 13,147 yet to be won. My true achievement ratio is 1.6. My friends average 1.5, and then site average 1.626. I'm like just above the site average um this is my gamer score in uh, my true achievements rather uh score incline right there this is if you want to read any of that stuff you can go ahead uh whoa three that's a new stat 333 days 14 hours and 18 minutes playing time well spent all right let's go to achievements and look at the metric for gamer score so, best achievement stats for all games. Uh, Hero of the Tribe. Oh, that was in um, the Brave... Uh, not Brave game. What is it? It was in Brave Warrior's Tale. I haven't played that in a long time. Then we got... These are just, like, the ones that were worth the most. I'm not going to go through all those. Those are all of them right there if you want to pause and look at that. Those are all the highest gamer score earned in a single achievement games and stuff. All the way down to 30 achievements. So, Bullet Beat has the most at 5,000. Master Chief, 4275. Again, that's that list right there. If you want to pause and take a look at that, I'm not going to read through every single one. But for those who like the deep dive stats, that's your chance to see. These are my best gamer score days. Uh, April 27, 2020, I got 1550 in one day. Again, I usually don't like... Whoa, okay. Okay, here it is. It took a minute to refresh. Um, <clears throat> August 3rd, 2021 was uh, just shy of 3,000 gamer score in a day. Um, 16 achievements. I won 30 achievements in one day. I won 100 achievements in one day. What the? I wonder what that was. I want to see what that was. Uh, power three. Oh, that's when I that's when I cheesed um, Survival Mars or whatever when I locked all the achievements in both versions on PC and Xbox. Uh, yeah. Again, I don't usually bulk up on games to knock out a whole bunch of gamer score in one day. I'll, like, earn a quick thousand here and there. Or I'll buy a few games, but I won't do them all on the same day. Uh, these were my milestones right here. Uh, a whole bunch of milestones. You can see, like, the, the time, time frames of when I got stuff. Again, not looking at that. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Get out. I have ad block, and also, that's just inappropriate. Uh, periods. Oh, yeah, okay, so so last time I got 400,000 gamer score, that was me finishing up all of 2020. These are my stats for all of 2020. Got 1,000 uh, achievements, 35,000 gamer score in 2020, 1.5 ratio, 44 games started, 72 games played, and 20 games complete. These were the month breakdowns for true achievement score, uh, even though I'd rather have that say gamer score, but I don't know why true achievements thinks they want to de- people want to default to true achievement score. Uh, these were like the games played, the achievements unlocked. I'll slightly scroll through. I don't know why I don't just do this um, instead of scrolling through my gamer card um, on on the console again. Yeah, these so these were games I started and played in 2020 when I got my 400,000 gamer score. I played a whole mess of games, and I'll again from I still haven't gone back and played Blair Witch. I'm sorry, I keep on like starting non sequiturs and then not finishing them. Uh, 2021. So between then and now, 40,000 gamer score. So I did most of the work in 2021. I did. So I got 24 games completed. Again, I think that includes me going back and completing games. Um, 69. <laughs> nice. Are we ever going to be over that? Because it's getting... It's it's fucking old. Uh, here's, here's the games I played. I'm going to do a quick scroll like that. So... Yeah, I don't even know how accurate... Man, it's it's really weird that I haven't gotten a gamer score milestone in two years. Actually, that's really weird to me. Uh, it makes it really kind of hard to do this video because it feels like 
it just feels weird. So, so far in 2022, it makes it hard for me to like outline exactly when things were. It's a bit confusing, especially with me going back and playing old games for fun, like lo- reloading up uh, World War II for some casual multiplayer. So, so far in 2022, I've got 197 achievements, 8,000 gamer score, uh, five games completed, 29 games played. And this is basically what I've been doing so far this year to make that final push, the final um, 8,000 gamer score that I needed after 2021 and this is basically the games that i used to finish that up keep scrolling there we go i think i got one achievement in kingdom Hearts. yeah i got i got one 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 four seven three two five thirteen eight three three two six just a whole bunch of random achievements throughout i got two achievements in gems of war though that's cool um most of which i got were from tiny tina right there so yeah uh that's pretty much it uh i guess you know while we're here want to look at my trophy case it's in my trophy case we got budokai hd collection complete amy finished game on hard mode which is my completion achievement uh phantom breaker battleground get a perfect score on shinjuku building bonus stage which is you falling down the level and collecting all the coins or gems or whatever they are it's really really annoying um do pretty much everything in guitar hero 3 um yeah alan wake stuff let's zoom in just a little bit Automedia is excellent. Those bullet hell games. Completing Death Smiles 2X. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Wick. Onigiri. Reaching level 100. That took a lot, dude. Um, completing PUBG. Completing Vigor. I say it like that so it doesn't sound like a different word. Uh, complete, complete the Sphere Grid in Final Fantasy X. Find every star drop in Stardew Valley. Yeah, that's my trophy case. And I don't think there's really much else for me to show you guys or to go over. Um... I guess we can look down here at the platform summary. I'm just going to zoom in a lot right here. So Xbox One, 329 days? Wait, okay, so so that's just, yeah. Of course, that makes sense. So I've definitely played, like, double that because Xbox 360 hasn't tracked. It doesn't track all that stuff. So definitely have at least 600 days in my life. I've only, All right, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't consider Xbox 360 playtime. Um, I only have 10 hours played of Series X and S games. But yeah, those are those stats, if you want to see that. Anyways, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and check out my book series, Vengeance. Um, the book one, Children of Faust, and everything. I'm working on Devil to the Damned right now. That's the next one to come out. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you.